What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to be talking about one of the best values out there right now, Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro with the Gear Up package. Now, before we get started, I just want to say I just got back from the dentist, so I'm slurring a little bit. Um, it's only certain words, but you can sort of hear it, so just give me a break for this one or a couple videos, whatever it is. I got to film when I get the chance. Now, on top of that, hit the like button, drop a comment. Put an emoji down below. I don't care what it is. It helps the channel, and there is proof in that. One of my videos actually took off because of you guys, so I really appreciate that. Put a lot of time and effort into these, and one day there will be a video where I never have to say this whole little script, right? I'll never have to ask for likes or comments or anything, but until then, that's what I'm doing. Now, if you've ever watched this channel before, you know I love the Springfield Armory Hellcat. I like it better than any other Micro 9, right? I love the Shield Plus, I love the CSX, I love my Canic MC9, I love my Taurus GX4, but I just have a different love for my Hellcat, and that's simply through its reliability, um, its feeding of literally every ammo, steel ammo, crap ammo, literally anything you throw through it. Some stuff that my Glock 26 wouldn't run, uh, specialty defensive ammos, the Hellcat runs flawlessly. And so that is a huge, huge thing for me, knowing literally whatever ammo I put through this thing, it's going to go bang, even when dirty, even when it hasn't been cleaned after a couple range uses and so on. But what I really like about this is it's the gear up package. So you get the Hellcat Pro, you get the range bag, but on top of that, normally it comes with two mags, you get a total of five 15 round mags. And if you know Springfield Army Hellcat mags, they're about 35 to 40 bucks. That's about $120 right there extra that they didn't have to give you. They didn't raise the price of this at all. They just threw in three extra mags, which you got to love, right? So, and like I said, I got this for $540. So let's check it out. Right here, we have the Springfield Armory Hellcat box. Always very nice. They always have great packaging. Um, oh my gosh. This is where the value comes in. Yes. I need another one of these. Perfect. I'm happy that they sent this. I needed another lock. Because this makes a lot of sense. Just kidding. Now, inside the box, I'm guessing that's how the Hellcat Pros are actually sold in a box like this. Because Springfield always gives you a nice carrying case. I have about 100 of these right now. Um, but it's still nice to get. I usually use it for extra mags and stuff like that just to keep my stuff organized. So it is nice to have. Um, your 115 round mag. So I'm guessing, like I said, without the gear up package, it just comes in here. But for the gear up um, events and sales and stuff like that, it goes in there. Speed loader, actually a really nice high quality one, so appreciate that. And then also let's get in here first, the gear bag, check that out. That is actually pretty decent, actually pretty nice. I mean it's it's just, hold on let me zoom out a little bit more. Um, I mean it's just a range bag, it is what it is, but if this is your first firearm, you know you go pick up the Hellcat Pro as your first everyday carry or whatever. This is super nice to have. Right out of the box, five mags, a range bag, a carrying case, a speed loader. You literally have everything you need. Because for your carry gun, you should have at least three to four mags. That's bare minimum for your carry gun. Now, open it up. And we'll get into the firearm in a second. I just want to show you. So just, you know, room probably for the firearm itself or, you know, your tools or your lubricants or whatever you take to the range or rags. And in here, we have the three 15-round mags. Very nice. And it's padded. It's actually pretty decent quality, as you can see. Three more mags in there, but I know you don't, I just don't care about that so much. Let's get into the firearm itself. That thing is absolutely beautiful. I love the way the Hellcat looks. That's not what sells it for me, um, is the looks, but I do appreciate the looks because that is a bonus. If you really like your firearm to the point where you love how it looks and so on, that always helps wanting to go to the range with it, wanting to carry it, stuff like that. But as you can see, they kept the memory pads that I always talk about. Springfield Armory did a great job with these. It's almost like a mini gas pedal and also a memory pad. Keep that finger off the trigger, which a lot of people on YouTube need to learn. Um, also, a different rail than the original Hellcat. Very nice. Um, so you're going to have more light options for something like this. It does come optics ready. And it does come with some of the greatest sights right out of the box. That U-notch rear with that tritium yellow outline front sight very easy sights to shoot i mean very easy the lining up is just perfect you basically line up the top of this sight to the top of this sight and then put that dead center very easy to use great sights and the texturing you know i want to say it feels a little different but at the same time i feel like it's not 
Maybe it's just because it's a newer firearm to me and on my other ones it's sort of worn off a little bit. But what is different is the width of the grip and also they do have mini finger groups. Not as dramatic as like a Glock, but mini finger groups. So I feel like it can, it's made to fit more hands than like a Glock Gen 3. But at the same time, it gives you that good purchase and grip. And this is what a lot of people want from their everyday carry choice. They want a full grip. They want something they can rest their whole entire hand on um, and so on. For me, I don't care. That's one of the benefits of the Springfield Army Hellcat, the original to me, is that if I want deep concealment, I can remove this much of the firearm and this much of the firearm. And I have a tiny firearm, basically, you know, because you can use the 11 round mags. Um, and it's shorter than this but at the same time there's a lot of people that carry this firearm because it's basically the perfect everyday carry size now i'm going to do some videos comparing it to the shield plus size and you know the mc9 my glock 26 and so on but i do consider a firearm like this to be the perfect everyday carry option to the point where it's not as snappy as a micro 9 but it's still very thin very concealable very shootable so absolutely love this thing let's check out that trigger once again, though, your Hellcat trigger breaks in. You got to put some rounds through it. You got to put, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred rounds through it, and that trigger does loosen up and lighten up a little bit. Let's see if it's any different. Same trigger. Yep, that's the same trigger. Um, it's just a little heavier than it normally is right now, but I feel like it is lighter than my original Hellcat is. Maybe a little crisper and cleaner. But that's just how it goes sometimes you can have two glock 26s and one trigger is going to be better than the other trigger it just has to do with tolerances and specs and stuff like that but what i have to say about this is the ergonomics are on point if you like the glock 43x you will die for this thing the ergonomics and texturing is just ready to go right out of the box literally you don't need to add grips to it you don't need to add night sights to it you got five magazines you got a range bag um, a little you know storage case that you can use for whatever a speed loader this is a great package right out of the box. I don't know if you could really argue that there is something better for the price. But um, that's just my opinion. Love this thing. Can't wait to shoot it. Uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Am I going to carry this thing? Well, one, if it's reliable. But for me, this would probably mo be more of a wintertime carry because I like having a shorter firearm. I don't mind tucking my pinky underneath to get a grip on it. Um, but easier to conceal. It's just the way my body is. doesn't matter what holster I'm using. It's just how my you know dad body my dad belly sticks out and pushes against my firearm um but yeah this thing is awesome i can already tell it's going to be a much better shooter than the original hellcat simply just because of size and weight um but at the same time love them both welcome to the collection thanks for watching guys